So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So today uh, we look at the MIT 2024 Integration B Finals uh, tiebreaker problem number three. Um, the problem uh, looks quite benign, but uh, a little bit challenging, and that's the indefinite integral of uh, the square root of x to the power of 4 minus 4x plus uh, 3. So before I quickly jump into the solution, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. We don't take your support for granted. Uh, for uh, our first-time visitors, what we do here at Everyday Mathematics is we go about and around uh, look for seemingly harder problems. Uh, Recently, we've been focused on calculus, specifically integrations. Uh, but we we look, go around and look for problems that are hard, and then we come back and share with you uh, the solutions that we think we fit these problems. So we really love mathematics, and that's our passion here. Uh, for our repeating visitors who haven't got an opportunity to subscribe to our channel, we do really uh, beseech you to consider subscribing to our channel. So quickly into the solution. Um, so uh, the first thing uh, with this problem is you just want to try to factorize uh, whatever is inside the square root sign. And uh, um, by long division, you soon understand that it is uh, whatever is under the, inter uh, the square root sign is x minus 1 squared times x squared plus 2x plus 3, right? And then uh, you can pull out the x minus 1. That is now uh, giving us x minus 1 uh, times the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3 um, as the integrand. The next thing now uh, you could do is express this as a perfect square. So first thing you want to do is um, you look at 2 here, and that means that uh, it derives from x plus 1 squared. And now you can remove uh, the product, uh, subtract the product, which is minus 1, uh, but keep this constant here, there. So you are left with uh, x minus 1 times the square root of x plus 1 squared plus 2 um, as our integrand. Now, um, how to remove what the square root sign is, um, we have other ways we could do it, but what quickly comes to mind to me is just use the substitution of uh, tangent theta. Um, and because we have this plus sign here. And obviously, uh, you have to equate x plus 1 to square root of 2 times theta so that when you square this part, uh, this entire constant can uh, be taken out. And you're left with tan squared theta plus 1, which uh, reduces to 6 squared theta. So um, as I said, let x plus 1 uh, be equal to square root of tan theta. Therefore, dx d theta is square root of 6 squared theta. And therefore, dx is square root 2 uh, 6 squared theta d theta. So um, our indefinite integral now becomes uh, substituting uh, for x plus 1 with square root of 2 times theta. Um, this part here, uh, x minus 1. Therefore, from here, as you can see, x is equal to square root of tan theta minus 1, and then minus 1. So it becomes square root of tan, uh, 2 times theta minus 2. And then the bracket in the square root sign uh, square root of tan theta squared plus 2. And as you can see, when you square the square root of 2 here, it becomes 2. And you pull that out, and you get uh, root 2 as the constant. OK, and then for dx, we have square root of 2, 6 squared theta d theta. So as you can see, this and that multiply with each other, and we can take this out uh, here. Uh, 2, right? And um, 
tan square theta plus one is six square theta, square root of six square theta is six theta. Six theta times six square theta becomes six cube theta. And we will put our two here as, a, as needed. So uh, going forward, we have two times the integral of uh, into bracket square root of two times theta minus two times six cube theta. Multiply six cube theta across, so we have uh, square root of two under the integral sign uh, times six cube theta tan theta. And then now we have two times this two, we have minus four uh, the integral of six cube theta. Now, the green integral is tricky. Um, when we differentiate tan x um, times sec x, we get two sec cube x minus sec x, such that um, a half, when you add this both side, a half of the derivative of tangent, the product of tangent x and sec x plus sec x is equals to cube, sec cube x. So we can now plug this part here. And so we have our integral as two uh, times the integral of cube uh, square root of sec cube theta times theta uh, minus two, the integral of the derivative of tan theta sec theta plus bracket plus sec theta. So this one here is very easy to see. Sec cube theta tan theta, that derivative is a third uh, sec cube theta. And then here, uh, when you integrate that, it just becomes tan theta sec theta. And then we are left with this as our other problem. So as I said, this part here, when integrated, becomes uh, a third sec cube theta, and then we have two times root two, so we have two root two over three sec cube theta. And the, here we have an obvious uh, problem, which is minus two tan theta sec theta, because this is already a derivative, so when you integrate, uh, you get whatever is under the derivative um, or the differentiation sign. Now we are left with minus two, the integral of sec theta. Could have kept this blue. But let's continue. Um, this is the same as one over cosine theta, and then we can express it as the half in the half angle formalism, so which is one over cosine squared uh, theta over two minus sine squared theta over two. Okay, and then uh, since we have uh, the difference of two squares, this can also be expressed as the product of the difference of those two numbers and uh, the sum of the same numbers. We can express this as partial fractions, and uh, believe you me, this is a very simple partial fraction. This is the same as cosine uh, theta over two plus sine theta over two over cosine theta over two minus sine theta over two plus cosine theta over two minus sine theta over two over cosine theta over two plus sine theta over two. Uh, and then you integrate this. You can see uh, the numerator here is, um, The numerator is the derivative of the denominator. Right? Um, and the same thing happens here. So for example, uh, uh, cosine, when you differentiate cosine theta over two, this becomes minus sine theta over two. When you differentiate sine theta over two, it becomes positive cosine theta over two. Obviously there is a there is a half here and that's why these two disappeared. The same thing here when you differentiate cosine theta over two you get a minus a cosine you get minus sine theta over two when you differentiate a negative sine theta over two you get negative cosine theta over two. So there will be a negative uh, sign here to negate uh, whatever negative was created here. Um, so as we can see, we are left with now minus uh, now 
because we are now integrating this since the numerator is the same as the derivative of the denominator and the half is not there from the differentiation. We assume there is a constant two that was initially applied there. So we have now two log of this. Um, and since um, we had a minus here, Since we had a minus here, we were going to keep uh, a negative uh, sign there. Okay. And so we can continue, and eventually we are, we are left with this. And um, here, this is very easy because of the rules of logarithm. If you have a subtraction of the log functions, this is the same as uh, division within the log function. And so um, the next thing we may want to do is just um, express this back into the single angle formalin. So we multiply both the numerator and denominator by cosine theta over two plus sine theta over two. Um, and that becomes uh, cosine square theta over two plus sine square theta over two plus two sine theta over two sine cosine theta over two sine theta over two. So this here tends to one, uh, the popular identity, and then this obviously is sine theta. And here, this is same as cosine theta. So um, our problem now becomes uh, root two, uh, Root two over three sec cube theta minus two tan theta sec theta minus two logarithm of one plus sine theta over cosine theta. And since x plus one is equal to root two tan theta, what that means is that tan theta is the same as x plus one over root two. And if you have a right angle triangle there with the angle theta, since the opposite uh, tangent of that angle is opposite over adjacent, our opposite here can be considered to be x plus one. And then our adjacent is root two, and therefore the hypotenuse is x plus one squared plus two. And so sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is x plus one over square root of x squared plus two x plus three. And cosine theta is the same as uh, the adjacent root two over hypotenuse, which is uh, x squared plus two x uh, plus three, right? And so substituting back, uh, for sec square cube theta, this is same as one over uh, cosine cube theta, and then uh, two tan theta, sec theta is the same as two sine theta over cosine square theta, minus log one plus sine theta over cosine theta. So for cosine theta, there um, we do have root two over the square root of x squared plus two x plus one, and then we cube that in the denominator, and then uh, two times one over cosine square theta, that is one over uh, root two over square root of x squared plus two x plus three squared times sine theta, which is x plus one over root uh, square root of x squared plus two x plus three minus two log one plus sine theta is x plus one over square root of x squared plus two x plus three. And then this cosine is root two over, over x squared, square root of x squared plus two x plus three. So this can be simplified further because this can now go up. And since we are cubing it, this is the same as uh, two root two over three times, uh, since square root of two cubed is two root two. And you see that this and that will cancel. And since this flips back, and since this becomes two over uh, x squared plus two x plus two uh, plus three, sorry to the power three over two. Uh, and then here we have this x plus one. And then since there's a two here, there's two times x plus one times, this is, when you square this, this becomes x squared plus two x plus three. But since we have the root here, so we are left with the square root of x squared plus two x plus three. And this two and this two. So uh, the same thing uh, goes on under the log, natural logarithm sign. 
and so we have uh, square root of 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 as our common base, and then we add uh, square root of 2x of x squared plus 2x plus 3 and x plus 1. Uh, and since this and that cancel, so we are left with whatever we see here over uh, square root of 2. So um, as we can see, we have a third times x squared plus 2x plus 2, the power 3 over 2 minus x plus 1 times square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3 minus natural logarithm of x squared plus 2x plus 2 plus x plus 1. And since uh, we have this under here, this can be separated into a separate log. Uh, since there's a negative here, this becomes plus log of square root of 2 to the power of this 2. Uh, and since this is just a constant, this is just part of the bigger integration constant, our answer is a third times x squared plus 2x plus 2 over 3 to the power 2 minus x plus 1 times the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3. Uh, so it, this was supposed to be 3. Keep it as 2. This is 2. Sorry for that mistake. Uh, but yeah, and then minus 2 natural logarithm into bracket uh, square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3 plus x plus 1 plus the integration constant. And this is the answer. So thank you so much for your attention. We do appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do consider subscribing to our channel. It would really, really use your support. Until next time, bye-bye.